Hello, welcome to Puffs and Poetry. I'm your host, Jessica, a writer, cannabis aficionado, and poetry lover. Let's get right into it. Today I am smoking a CBD and herbs joint. This is one of my favorite kind of joints to smoke, and I am using the Focus Herbal Blend from my friends at High Priestess Herbal Wellness. I am using the Focus Blend today because I have some things to get done after I'm done filming this, and I want to make sure I am still in a good headspace to be able to get it done. There we go. So today we are reading from the poetry collection of Sarah Teasdale. Sarah Teasdale is a late 19th century, early 20th century poet. She was born in the 1880s, died in the 1930s. She was from Missouri, but she traveled extensive, extensively as is detailed in her poems. I would describe Sarah Teasdale's poetry as short, sweet, and intensely romantic. Sarah writes about falling in love, being in love, falling out of love, seeing old lovers. Love is her main theme. So I have her book of poetry here that comes to me via my local library. My local library has been absolutely invaluable in expanding my poetry horizons. We go. We have a short and sweet little joint for a short and sweet set of poetry. So the first book of poetry, <coughs> the first book of poetry that we are reading from today is called Love Songs and it was published in 1917. Our first poem is called To E. I have remembered beauty in the night. Against black silences I have waked to see a shower of sunlight over Italy in green Ravello dreaming on her height. I have remembered music in the dark, the clean, swift brightness of a fugue of box, and running water singing on the rocks, when once in English wood I heard a lark. But all remembered beauty is no more than a vague prelude to the thought of you. You are the rarest soul I ever knew. Lover of beauty, nightliest and best. My thoughts seek you as waves that seek the shore. And when I think of you, I am at rest. <clears throat> Our next poem is called Jewels. If I should see your eyes again, I know how far their look would go. Back to a morning in the park with sapphire shadows on the snow. Or back to oak trees in the spring when you unloosed my hair and kissed. The head that lay against your knees in the leaf's shadows amethyst. In still another shining place, we would remember how the dun, wild mountains held us to its crest, one diamond morning white with sun. But I will turn my eyes from you, as women turn to put away the jewels they have worn at night and cannot wear in sober day. <clears throat> Our next poem is called In a Burying Ground. This is the spot where I will lie when life has had enough of me. These are the grasses that will blow above me like the living sea. These gay old lilies will not shrink to draw their life from death of mine. 
and I will give my body's fire to make blue flowers on the vine. O oh soul, I said, have you no tears? Was not the body dear to you? I heard my soul say carelessly, the myrtle flowers will grow more blue. This has definitely and completely gone out, as happens from time to time. Real stoners, real smoking sessions. All right, our next poem is called Tonight. The moon is a curving flower of gold. The sky is still and blue. The moon was made for the sky to hold, and I for you. The moon is a flower without a stem. The sky is luminous. Eternity was made for them. Tonight was made for us. I should count the amount of times on this series that I missed the ashtray. It would be funny. Our next poem is called Doubt. My soul lives in my body's house, and you have both the house and her. But sometimes she is less your own than a wild gay adventurer. A restless and eager wraith, how can I tell what she will do? Oh, I am sure of my body's faith. But what if my soul broke faith with you? There are linguistic choices you can see in older poems that you wouldn't see in poems today, like her repeated use of the word gay to describe happiness. That's fallen out of favor since 1917. <clears throat> Our last poem today is called The Voice. <clears throat> Atoms as old as stars, mutation on mutation, millions and millions of cells dividing and yet still the same. From air and changing earth, from ancient eastern rivers, from turquoise tropic seas, unto myself I came. My spirit, like my flesh, sprang from a thousand sources, from caveman, hunter, and shepherd, from Karnak, Cyprus, and Rome. The living thoughts in me spring from dead men and women, forgotten time out of mind and as many and many as bubbles of foam. Here for a moment's space, into the light out of darkness, I come and they come with me, finding words with my breath. From the wisdom of many lifetimes I hear them cry, forever seek for beauty. She only fights with man against death. Short and sweet, and usually with a twist at the end. Enjoying poetry from decades, centuries, or even millennia ago does not have to be a confusing, mind-taxing ordeal. It can be short, sweet, and enjoyable. That's everything that I have for you today. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and have a wonderful day.